Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this video we will cover the influence of protein frequency on body composition. First and foremost, let's explain what exactly protein frequency is. Quite simply, protein frequency refers to the distribution of protein intake throughout the day. More specifically, we're referring to how many protein feedings we consume each day. However, when talking about protein frequency, we are always assuming that total daily protein intake is equated. So when we compare a higher protein frequency, this means each meal will contain a lower amount of protein, while a lower frequency will mean a higher protein dose per meal. So how does protein frequency influence body composition? Well, protein frequency has minimal impact on body composition when total daily protein intake is equated. As we mentioned in the previous video from this series, total daily protein intake is much more important while frequency is more of a nuanced detail. Protein frequency may have a slight impact on muscle growth from resistance training. This is because each protein feeding acutely increases the amino acid availability in the bloodstream. So when we consume a protein feeding, it gets broken down into amino acids which circulate the bloodstream and are readily available for use. However, this also has a magnitude effect. This means that if we consume a higher dose of protein, blood amino acid levels will stay elevated for longer, whereas a smaller protein dose will elevate blood amino acid levels for a shorter duration. Ideally, we want a fairly consistent supply of amino acids in the bloodstream throughout the day to ensure there is readily available material to be used for muscle repair and growth. So it is probably quite obvious that one protein serving per day is probably inferior to multiple servings per day. However, the question then becomes, is three meals better than two, is four meals better than three, and so on. Well, higher frequencies are probably more beneficial up to a point, and beyond this point, there is probably no additional benefit. This threshold is probably around three to four protein feedings per day, and a higher frequency than this simply won't have any additional benefit or extremely minute benefits. The other factor to consider is the indirect effect of protein frequency on total daily protein intake. As we mentioned, total daily protein intake is much more important than protein frequency. Increasing protein frequency, however, gives us more feeding opportunities to intake more protein. A lower protein frequency means that we have to increase how much protein we consume in each meal, which may be difficult to achieve. Therefore, a higher protein frequency may be a strategy to help us increase our total daily protein intake if we struggle to consume enough with a lower frequency. As we mentioned in the previous video, total daily protein intake may have some positive influence on hunger satiety. Similarly, protein frequency may also have some indirect impact on body fat via satiety behavior and adherence. First is the satiety effect. Generally speaking, when we eat larger meals, we feel more satiated for a longer period of time. So a lower frequency may allow us to feel fuller throughout the day rather than being constantly hungry. This means that a lower meal frequency may actually help us adhere to a calorie deficit more effectively if our goal is to lose body fat. And the second influence meal frequency may have is convenience. A higher protein frequency means that the trainee must make more decisions throughout the day about food and interrupt their day more times to eat. A lower protein frequency means that we only have to worry about eating a few times per day and then forget about it for multiple hours until our next meal. This may simply be a more flexible and sustainable approach that allows trainees to adhere to their diet throughout the rest of their lifestyle. So what practical recommendations can we conclude with this information? Well, firstly, we should understand that protein frequency has minimal impact on body composition when total daily protein is equated. So assuming we are hitting our daily protein goals, we should try to spread this protein fairly evenly throughout the day across around three to six feedings. Generally speaking, the lower end of this recommendation is probably more sustainable and easier to adhere to for most trainees, which may be beneficial during periods of calorie restriction. On the other hand, a higher protein frequency may allow trainees to intake more total protein throughout the day, which may allow a greater total daily protein intake. Therefore, the exact protein frequency that each trainee implements is based on personal preference within this general range of three to six feedings per day. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.